What's good YouTube? This is your boy Rick from Tech with Rick. Let's get techy guys. So the news has been uh, announced. Windows 10 has officially been launched and I just was able to, I've already reserved my copy but I was able to get this beta version of really bad boy that I, can, that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, let's get straight to it. Some of the functionality is actually being changed. Um, those people who are really into Windows, you guys are in for a big surprise. I really like the new functionality, so let me get into it. The first thing that I wanted to show you guys is the start menu. From what Windows had uh, a start screen saver, it has come back to a start tab along with the start screen menu if you guys really like it. So people who usually used to like the Windows 7 start menu and you were missing it, you can now have the, the features of both of it and the Windows 8. Of course, uh, people who actually do not like it and like the Windows 8 type of start menu which completely surrounds the screen, you can do it by personalizing it into your settings. I right, cannot I hurt you right now because this is a beta version. Um, that's the first feature that I really like about Windows 10. Uh, the second feature, may you guys know, you guys may not know about it, but Cortana, which is a voice recognition application built inside Windows, is has become much more sensitive and is much more better at picking up your voice. Um, I'm gonna try my voice recognition right now but usually it's not working well because I'm pretty sure there's updates that needs to come. But hey Cortana. Chipper thanks. As you can see it basically takes in my voice understand and I was speaking at a very fast rate. Um, of course the completed version has much more functionality. I've actually seen some great videos where Using Cortana, basically, it uh, integrates all your uh, work, your traffic. So let's say you're a busy guy and you, you got to get out of house at early in the morning. You set a reminder with Cortana. It basically tells you what's the traffic like, what's the weather like, which will help you and what you need to be doing to get out of your house and get to work. Um, really another great feature added up in by uh, Windows. Uh, this is going to be a problem for Siri because Siri does still have to go a long way compared to what Cortana has come to. Personally, I've actually had some people using uh, Windows Phone who actually like Cortana a lot. The next feature that I really like about um, Windows is the task view. Uh, this basically allows you to, whenever you open up different applications, using the ta task view, you can basically jump into any different application in, in a form of a GUI. Also, it gives you a functionality where you can actually jump from one desktop to another. So you can make two to three desktop environments and you can do two to three different work at the different times. So let's say, for example, in desktop one, I was doing my school work, um, all everything regarding my school. Next one, I could be doing, let's say, reading. And the next one, I could be doing something else. Because as we all know, Whenever we start using a computer, as far as I have the problem, I start up op start opening so many tabs of different things and I don't know where each of them This thing keeps it a bit much more organized. So for people who are really, really into computers and I really, be especially people in office work. So the next time your boss comes, you can just switch from one desktop to another just within a second without even worrying. A really another great feature added in by Windows 10. Kudos to you, Windows, for this feature. A lot of people do like it. People who use Apple are already familiar with it and it's going to be great to see it now in Windows. Uh, the next feature I wanted to show you was the Windows Outlook. Uh, most of you people who haven't used, I personally do not use Outlook that much, but looking at it right now in Windows 10, they have made it a bit more simpler. Like It looks much more cooler, much more simpler, much more nicer. Um, it gives it a businessy look. So. Most probably, I'm pretty much open to try it out from now on. Um, Windows Mail has definitely become much more better, I think so. Um, the next feature that Windows has, I don't know if people knew, I just found out this, but Windows now has a store. So anything that you need to buy or you need to download, you can download it from the store. Um, what are the pluses and minuses? Some of the pluses that I see is definitely downloading applications which is compatible for your computer because it has been a lot of times where people download stuff and definitely the computer f computer doesn't match it but here no it's, it's definitely gonna be uh, compatible with your computer so that's gonna be great uh, plus you have some applications like Facebook Twitter 
um, I can't remember if Windows 8 had it, but using Windows 7 myself, it didn't have such application. So it's going to be great getting into into the application itself. Uh, as you can see, some of them are on free. Win VLC Media Player, which I use a lot, also really cool. Yes, Windows 8 had it, so I'm pretty sure it must have the same application. But yeah, it, this is definitely one good feature. It'll help you a tad bit more to prevent viruses from getting into third-party application. Um, very nice. I'm, I personally really like this uh, uh, program or feature that Windows has actually added in. Then, uh, the next one is introducing Edge. Edge is, uh, is a form of Internet Explorer or the new Internet Explorer that Windows 10 has launched along with it. As you can see, it is a pretty cool looking uh, Internet Explorer. I mean, at least at the beginning when you look at it. But one thing that I really like in it is that it helps you to make changes into web pages. So if you're a guy who usually uh, looks at web pages, saves web pages, and you would like to go through it, well, now you can even do better. You can even, let's say if you're a student, I'm a medical student, so you can basically make changes to it. You can underline certain important stuff, um, highlight it. Even for a person who's like um, into cooking and you want to take in notes, perfect. And even you can even put in your own uh, own comments into it, which makes it a bit more better in terms of using Google Chrome or anyone else because they don't give us this function. Um, in other words, how good is it, how fast it is, or how accurate it is um, in terms of uh, search engine or in terms of if it brings in much more pop-ups, ads, we still don't know because it's a very new feature. But uh, when you compare it with, it with Internet Explorer, which Windows had been putting it into all its devices, all into other versions of Windows, I think this is at least a step forward for Windows. So I'll be looking forward to much more better things from Windows Edge. But this is just the beginning, so we cannot say anything for sure. But I mean, definitely, all in all, at the beginning, or at, like looking at it right now, it looks pretty good. Um, last but not the least, uh, one more function, that I, one more feature that I want to show you is the notification bar. Um, we know that those notif notifications that pop up, I don't really, really like the way it looks. Um, this is personally being me, I don't know. But here, the way, it, uh, right now I don't have any notification, but the way they usually organize over here is much more better, uh, much more simpler, and much more nicer that you actually go and see the notification as to what you have. Um, that's about it. I mean, I personally like this notification center. I mean, the the new features that have come into Windows, I personally do like them compared to uh, what the other Windows of uh, versions of Windows were packing in. But before I go, I needed to tell you that Windows 10 has uh, has allowed people who have uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 running into their computer for free upgrades. So let's say if you if you are using Windows 7 or Windows 8 genuine. You can reserve a copy of Windows 10 for yourself. So basically, if you do like how Windows 10 is looking over here, maybe the graphic user, if you like the graphic user interface or how it looks like or basically how the function is, uh, you can basically reserve your copy of Windows 10. I will be sure to put a link down right below so you can see how you can do it. Um, I'm personally waiting for mine, so looking forward to it. But uh, that's about it, guys. I mean, if you really like the video, please be sure to hit a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, like, comment, and share. Uh, this is your boy, Rick. Until then, signing off. Peace.